gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. This woman went, out, went all the way and called this dude a pervert, and he didn't do anything that was perverted, right? If he did something that was perverted, 100%, if he turned around and was like, and he was like, he was like, or was like, or was like, or, was like, uh, or did something like that, that's, uh, that, look, you know, rub his, you know, whatever, do this or some shit, that's perverted. What is up, it's your boy Johnny Shrevive, BB Promos and Telling It Is, welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Ron and cut guys, we're gonna give you guys obviously what you're probably seeing all over the internet, which is a TikTok video of Adrian Adrian Ferris basically, I don't know, calling a dude out. Um, we'll go over the video. I'm actually gonna do a play by play of what I think happened in the video and how we can, uh, you know, maybe avoid these things and give my unbiased opinion of this video. So um, let's get started. We're gonna do this right now. Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police. And okay, so guys, as you, know, as you probably know, you've probably seen Derek's video and whatever else. This video has yet been, I think, been taken out or not taken out, but I think she's deleting a bunch of her comments and stuff. I want to talk about creating narratives, okay? And the danger of creating narratives, whatnot. So here's a narrative she has created right now. She said, a trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Now, a couple things we're saying here, guys. Pervert. Use like pervert, you know, um, whatever. I just like just the the verbiage she's using right now. For me, I'm looking at this. I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna act like I'm, the, I'm gonna act like I'm a detective or some shit. This is the evidence I got. I need to see if what she's saying is true. He's being a pervert, so I gotta see. I need to see pervert actions in this video. So let's watch this video right now and see what happens. Membership. Here we go. All right. So, all right, she's got she's going slow mo, zooms in. My man says, Oh, looks over, doesn't say anything, looks over. And then he kind of does like the he's like, you know, the homeboy was like this. He was like, Oh man, he's taking, you know, he's probably thinking, Oh man, she's taking a shirt off. Oh yeah, man, I, I see, I saw her probably, I don't know, I'm a time to see the gym, but or I'm his first time seeing the girl at the gym. Wow, he's kind of like this, mm, mm, mm. you know what I'm saying, just doing that, right. Then homeboy turns around and she writes, he says, oh, damn. Oh, damn. So it looks like, oh, damn. So is that any, is anything perverted right now as we speak? Nothing is perverted right now as we speak. And let's see if the guy actually says, oh, damn, because she's saying she's creating a narrative. Let's see what he actually says. OK, so I don't know what he said because it doesn't look like, oh, damn. All right. Okay, so guys, she says, do you need something one time? Right now, she's facing the mirror, obviously here. So you're hearing the volume of the noise bounce off the screen there. So you can hear her say it quietly, almost like in a way where she's like kind of whispering to let her, let him know in the mirror so you can see my words. Do you need something? Right, let's do it again. Do you need something? Do you need something? And then she says it again. Do you need something? Do you need something? And says it again. She says no. Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. So she said a lot of firm to hear. What do you, excuse me? What, what, excuse me? Are you okay? Keep the question. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any time you want. Okay, this is fairly easy for me to see, guys. I think this is a couple. This is a this is an ex couple. This is an ex something. This is an ex interpersonal relationship of some sort on some level. Basically, that's what I'm seeing here, and that's what happened. This is, this is, this isn't, this is what it looks like to me. I'm creating a narrative, but this is what it looks like to me. The way she kind of went from like zero, hero to zero real quick for no reason. And to be honest, it looked like, like the guy didn't do anything, he was sitting down. She did not like when the other guy turned around right away. Okay. And that's all we're saying right there. Okay. So let's talk about a couple of things. Did the guy, is was the guy perverted? No, he wasn't. A couple of things happened here. Number one. If you're in the gym, I don't care if this is a woman or a man or whatever it is. If you, like, you can see in the mirror, you just misheard someone say something, you turn around, you look at it, and you look her, and you look in your eye, you look he, him or her, whoever it is, and they're not smiling, like, in a, in a like, come look at me and, and hang out, smile like a, hey, 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 you know, did you say something? 
You know what I mean? Like you say, and she, you know, maybe she's joking at first. You know, you maybe don't know. It's like, oh man, she said, what's up? And you turn around, what's, what, what's up? You need something? And you find out she's not smiling? Oh no, no, I'm good. You turn around, done, done, okay? But then the person keeps going and going and going and, she, and both of them are pulling this, playing this tug of war of ego, right? Now for the woman, right? Was was he or woman, don't care what it was, woman or man, don't really care what it is. Was that worth, was this worth it? Was his actions worth worth the attention what created the reaction of this was this from what i'm seeing is right it's that let's watch that again you know what i mean like so so it looks like it looks like she just watch him she is waiting for this this is a couple anyway like i said this is probably next couple right was it worth it no none of that is worth it none of this is worth it at all number one two we can't like we all seen the amber heard stuff already don't create a narrative You've seen the Amber Heard stuff already. And to say a word like pervert, you know what I mean? Like a sicko, a pervert, like a creep. You know, he's creepy. Pervert, she's creepy. He's creepy. He's a pervert. Let's look up pervert. Pervert, after, from the original course, meaning a state of distortion or corruption of what was first intended. A person whose sexual behavior is regarded as abnormal and unacceptable, deviant degenerate right this woman went out went all the way and called this dude a pervert and he didn't do anything that was perverted right if he did something that was perverted 100 percent. if he turned around and was like and he was like he was like or was like or was like, or, was like uh, or did something like that that's uh that look as you know rub his you know whatever do this or some shit that's perverted that is unacceptable 100 percent. what the fuck what are you doing you sick f? I go kick that up, kick him in the balls. Heck yeah, you have all the right. I got a daughter. Trust me, trust me. I have a daughter. Okay. I. Sh- sh- anyway, that's not perverted, right? So you can't do that. You, you, you can't say, oh man, that girl's per- that girl, a guy, or whatever. You're creating a narrative. Number thing, no, a couple things to, to pay attention to when you're in the gym. Because I've been in the gym my entire life and I've seen things. Okay. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and um, I was talking about this uh, a dude, and. The, and, and she was like, oh, man, and that guy's, you know, he's kind of whatever, you know, he kind of, you know, he kind of says things, this and that, whatever. And like he does like, you know, he did say like things like, you know, what's up, baby? Or like, how you doing, honey? Kind of kind of thing like that. Right. And and I'm like, OK, yeah, that's kind of like, you know, cringe, very cringe. But at the same time, I was like, let me ask a question. I'm like, if that dude was Chris Bumstead, would it matter? And she literally laughed and joked like, no, but it's true. It's true. And that's what society does. That's how society has programmed us all. It's acceptable if it's a good looking person, but if it's not a good looking person, it's not acceptable. If that's a good looking, if that, if that is, if that behind you was, was, I don't know, Michael Jordan, Brad, Michael B. Jordan. If that was Michael B. Jordan, would she be saying that? Probably not. If that was Drake, would she be saying that? Probably not. Right? Now, is that acceptable? It's not acceptable. Right? But I'm not saying just because, even because you're good looking, you can say what you want. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, understand the difference between something that's perverted or something that's, you know what I'm saying? For me, and I'm talking through experience, I know that I'm a pretty, I know I'm a fairly attractive person. I know that, right? For the most part, I'm more noticeable because I have I have my physique, okay? When I go to the gym, I know for a fact I have eyes on me. I know for a fact I'm going to turn around, someone's going to say something, someone's going to be looking a little longer than they normally look. I know for a fact, but... I know that. So when I go into the gym, I set boundaries. I have boundaries. There's like boundaries of like, number one, how long I'm going to let you sit there and talk before I'm like, ah, it's enough. You know what I mean? There's an, or like, if you come and say something to me enough, I'm going to be like, no, it's like, you know, i got a time for that shit. Right. I set my boundaries right away. There's not, there's, I, you know what I mean? There's that, but I do know what the, I do accept. I do accept, you know, nice compliments. If someone, if somebody can be a genuine compliment, I've had men and women, older women, older men, Younger men, younger women, doesn't matter, all whatever, say something about my physique that was, that was like, you know, from very like complimentary to like, you know, very complimentary and like, you know, almost borderline, but at the same time, like, I know what I can accept, right? But make your boundaries, but understand, going to the gym, there's like, and, I, and here's what, I'm, I'm being very honest, I'm being very honest. There are some people at the gym that I know for sure, I, I watch, I people watch all the time, there's some people at the gym I see that like aren't like what society like deems them good looking. They're not the good looking people in the gym, right? They're probably a little heavy set. They don't, you know, have the nicest clothes or whatever it is. I see it and I see them 
kind of like by themselves sometimes. And they've made comments to me as well too. And I will go over and talk to them longer to make them feel good because because I know that like, it's, I'm not, it's nothing to do with like, oh, this is weird to say, it really is. But like, I really do that. I, I, I know like, I know some people out there, there are some people out there in the gym that are not attractive, they, they're not attractive people. They probably wish they can get go to the gym and socialize to everybody else. I'm not saying they probably wish. I'm not saying they wish they can go to the gym and someone creeps them out. No, I'm saying I wish they, they probably go to the gym wishing that you know people go and talk to them too, people that pay a little attention to them as well too. So when things like that happen to me, I literally think if I'm passing by, I'll I'll make a comment to them as well too. I'll make comments about people's like you know, hey, I think you have you know I'll, something like you know maybe the hair is cut different. I like, man, I really like the hair. I like your hair. Or I'll, whatever. I'll, say, I'll literally comment about something because I know it's going to make them feel good. And I'll say it in a respectable manner. I'm not going to be like, hey, what's up, baby girl? Yeah, yeah. No, it's like I literally will see something that is a fact about them. And I'll say the fact that's about them. Now, when it comes to men and women who are out there who are just like kind of like, you know, you want to talk. Let me tell you what's up. Let me tell you how to do these things right. Okay. Because I got a daughter. You go to the gym, men. Okay, and you see a woman, you pass by or something like that, and she doesn't give you the invite, like, come smile and talk to me, like, hey, come over, like, is she kind of like, doesn't say, huh, like that, and say, come here, don't go over to her, don't, right, don't, she didn't ask you to come over, now, if you decide you want to be brave and go over and talk to her and say something, have some sense and say something that's factual about her in a polite way, like, literally, Hey, sorry, excuse me, ma'am. Like, and wait till she's done and not busy. But like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, or whatever, whatever it is. Just want you know that you're a very attractive woman. Or you know, like you, like you, or like you know, are you competing? You're like, very, like you have a very nice physique. And then like, that's all. Take care and see you later. Right? Don't sit there, give a comment, and wait for it. Let her, let her say thank you and be on your way. See you later. It's okay to give somebody a respectable comment, men and women. You can say to a dude, hey, man, I think you got some nice arms, man. Cool. Walk away. Don't be like, hey, man, do you got nice arms, dude? Yo, man, how, how many pull-ups can you do? <laughs> Yo, how many? I know I'm going to do this, too. And, like, how many? Yo, what else are you? You know, like, how, man, you got some big legs. Like, how many squats? It's like, yeah, like, like, yo, leave a comment and go, right? And that's it. Don't push the boundaries. You don't need to, right? Women, if, you, if a guy comes over to you and you feel uncomfortable and he makes a comment... And I'm telling you, because I'm telling my daughter the same thing when she's old enough. If a dude comes over and he makes a comment that might just be like, hey, man, hey, what's up? Or whatever. Like, he comes up to you and says something like, hey, so-and-so, just want to let you know that you're really attractive. And you'd be like, hey, thank you very much. You have a good day, right? If the guy decides to say anything more, be like, that's enough. Can you please leave my space, right? If he doesn't leave your space... I don't recommend knocking them out. Go make a complaint to the front desk ASAP. There's not many times I've seen this happen. A girl in the gym gets harassed by a guy and doesn't say anything. Like legitimately gets harassed by a guy. I'm not talking about like a guy said a comment was nice and left. I'm talking like a guy makes a comment, stays too long. You say, hey man, it's enough and walk away. And then he comes back and you don't, and you don't, and you say, hey man, it's like, that's enough. And he, you know, he keeps bugging you. And you have verbally said, yo, stop talking to me. Like, get away from me. You are making, like, like, stop it. Like, if you don't say, stop it, get away. That's enough, sir. Whatever it is. And you don't say that. You're not doing yourself justice or any other person justice in there because you got a guy in there who's probably creeping everybody out. You don't want to say anything because you want to ruffle feathers. Make sure you do something and say something. I've seen that happen a gazillion times in the gym. The girl doesn't want to ruffle feathers. She doesn't want to make someone whatever. She doesn't want to... Look, if a, you know the difference between... You all know the difference between being polite and being perverted. There is there's no fine line of being polite. and be, there's, There isn't. If I say, excuse me, excuse me, Christine. Hey, what's up? You know, maybe you know her name. Excuse me, Christine. Hey, I just want to know that you have... You know, you look really like... Are you competing? Oh, no, I'm not. Like, oh, I just want to know you look really good. Like, your physique looks great. And like, hey, take care. Have a good day. You know that's not perverted. Right? Guy walks up. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, hey, Christine, what's going on? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you got some big titties. That's perverted. That's unnecessary. That's, that's uncalled for. But the guy said, hey, you got big titties. You're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, man, you got a nice ass, too. And you're like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, girl, all right, see you, baby. Take care. And then you go, I'm like, oh, man, that guy was perverted. 
I see that happen too. Men stay the boundary. And in this situation, regardless of the man or not, if you see somebody that's not inviting a negative, don't freaking even engage. Don't engage, right? And if you're a woman or a man in the woman's position, like just kind of like take a breath, right? Nothing I want to point out here. This is some like, this is some like, you know, this is some high end detective shit I'm doing here. This girl looks like she has been, this girl looks like she's lost weight. You can tell, right? She's got lower body. I, 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 I coach a lot of people and I've seen different physiques. She looks like she has lost weight and she's basically at that, you know, at that weight that this is her genetics. This is how she's genetically, how she genetically looks, right? If you look at her legs and look at her face, look at her legs, look at her face. Looks like she's been dieting. That's what it looks like to me. Looks like she's been dieting and she is angry. That's what I come up with. She's dieting. She's angry. She might have been dating him before or something, or maybe he pissed her off back. Something happened. This is not a new thing. This is not the first encounter they have had, period. That's all I believe. But again, not cool at all. Don't say things that aren't true. Do not create narratives that can actually can affect the person's livelihood and how people see them. Like, don't do that shit, man. We've learned enough of like how creating errors can really destroy people and anybody. And that's why I, I, you know, that's why my channel is the way it is. And I, you know, I stay far and clear away from doing anything where I'm, I, I can create a narrative that can make you believe something about someone else. That's not true at all. This is not right. This is, this is straight up wrong. Her, the language she uses wrong and period shouldn't have did it right guy, dude, like, suck your ego up, man, and walk away, bro. You didn't have to get involved in the first place, right? She's 100% wrong, but you're an idiot for even engaging, right? She wants to be, you know me, you know me stuck up girls I see around all the time? I give them no mind. You want me stuck up, man? It's all you. You're having a bad day. You can have a bad day by your damn self, right? Anyway, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys, man. Hey, girls, women, men, you know, gym goers, man. This has a better gym at a kid. Right? Come on, man. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, if you did, let make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, I'm coming with that tele. It is transparent. Volume of truth. For coaching, johnandsheep.com. Guys, if you want to know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a phone consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, I deduct it off any package that you pick. We talk about anything. Anything. Anyway, hit this. Hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that save your life or change your life for the better. Send me your progress picks, your foodie picks, and your training clips, and I'll repost a few because you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, Keep Jim chasing. Peace.